Hello, hello, my friends. It's Coach Eva. How is everybody doing today? Today I am coming with an awesome recipe for you, of course, with our own experience doing these products for a long time. Arrowwave Nutrition has been with us for a long time. We absolutely love it. This is part of our daily regimen, daily things that we do. And of course, I am here on a few channels right now. You can see me live on Instagram and on Facebook. And my question to you is, do you love the pumpkin season? We actually entering a, a season in a few weeks. It's gonna be Thanksgiving, then we have other holidays. And as we know, as I know as a coach, how crucial it is for many people to stay in shape during this time. Did you know that people gain the most weight during the holiday season and the summer? It's crazy, but it is. Especially now when the treats and all the other sugary stuff will be in front of you, how are you gonna battle this? Plus, of course, other companies like Starbucks, for instance, they offer those amazing coffees. And I am, I used to be a coffee drinker, but not anymore. Right now, it's all about the teas, or Herbalife tea, and I absolutely love it. And I do not drink uh, coffee often. However, did you know that Starbucks, Starbucks offers these amazing coffees, right? But the, the, the Cafe La Paix can have between three to five to 600 calories. And if you are not sure what is inside or you're not careful enough, you're not, you are not mindful enough to find out what's in it, you can get into a lot of trouble. Because one cafe latte can have so many calories, but that's one thing, can have 14 grams of fat, or even can have about 50 grams of carbs and sugar and that's absolutely crazy so i am here to help to help you to make the better decision and actually do this uh, on your own at home so today i'm coming up with a recipe for you how to make an awesome pumpkin spice latte or caramel apple latte and it's very easy and let me tell you i even done it myself taking these products into the Starbucks coffee and asking them to add it instead of the milk and it works. Because think about it, is it worth it to get these sugary coffees? Not only um, it causes you to gain weight, but you have the sugar rush, you're not even feeling good about yourself and then you have these spikes in the sugar and the insulin level and you feel later on like crappy and you need to fix yourself with additional coffee or an additional uh, sugary drinks right I have to drink this because it's coming our workout time so it's pre-workout in my hands and amazing stuff inside if you need to know how to make your pre-workout let me know but let me give you the awesome recipe for your fat burning protein coffee so what we need today we need either an old milk it's unsweetened, low fat. Look, we have this one. This one has 45 calories. This is an oat milk, but you also can have almond milk unsweetened, cashew milk unsweetened. And as long as it's the between 25 to 35 calories coffee, uh, uh, milk, right? You're gonna brew your own coffee, guys. You're gonna brew your own coffee, and that's the beautiful thing. Now, we're gonna use either the caramel apple or the pumpkin spice pumpkin spice formula one just came on the market back again if you if you need to purchase please get it now because they this is a limited time they only release it for holidays and you don't want to miss it because it's absolutely amazing i always stuck up for a few months i just finished my pumpkin spice just the other day but another order is in the mail so ken super excited now the true whip is your option you can have it or you don't. It's up to you if you want to top your coffee with something like this. And I have one already made. So look how easy this is. I see my friend over here. That one, that one is for you if you want to make a good coffee. So brew your coffee. Very simple. Now, if, what, if you have the machine that brew, brews your coffee, coffee, set to the smallest setting so the coffee will be very uh, uh, strong. You don't want a lot of water, okay? So that's one thing. Make sure that it's the slowest setting or if you have maybe espresso machine, you can do the same. You're gonna get a cup of this unsweetened milk. You're gonna add two scoops of your favorite Formula One, of course, 
If you don't like pumpkin spice, it's okay. Maybe you want a different flavor. Now, how do we do that, guys? Make sure when you have your Formula One that you shake the container and you get the scoop out and make it flat. Now I gotta fish out my scooper. So don't ever do the high ones, flat one like this, two scoops, you're gonna put it in your milk. Now we're gonna shake it up really well. This stuff dissolves in the water. There is no need to do anything, not even a blender. And you're gonna simply add it to your coffee. And guys, this is what it is. It tastes delicious. Now let's calculate how many calories in this coffee. 90 calories right here. This one has 45, right? So this is such a small amount of, amount of calories, 135 calories, barely any sugar. And this is only one gram of fat. Depends on, depends on what you get. You sometimes get the milks that are, you know, two, three grams of sugar. So make sure that you're watching this and checking your nutritional info on the package. Because remember, we need to always remember the big seven. The big seven is the secret that changed our lives. And if you need to know more, please send me a message and we will send you information. Now, guys, this is so easy. Now, why we do that? Why are we, hi, Anthony, I see you. Why do we do a coffee like this? To replace the 500 calories coffee from Starbucks. You can do this at home. It's easy and simple. Plus, remember, 50 grams of sugar in your coffee. And I see this all the time. I see this throughout moms at school. They run in the morning going and getting their Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts coffee, sugary cream. Let me give you an idea. You, are guys, you guys are so familiar with these coffee creamers. I'm sure you are. I bought this purposely. So you guys, you guys can see this. If I would have asked every single person in a group of 10, if they know how many calories in this in one tablespoon or how many calories is in their coffee, they don't know. Because how can you know how many really exactly, how much grams of sugar is in your Dunkin' Donuts coffee if you ask them to put the heavy cream inside? You don't even know. There's tons of sugar, tons of fats, tons of, tons of carbs, and this stuff will never get you in shape if you want, if you're starting like this every single morning. And the simple reason for it, because it's one tablespoon of this is 35 calories. You would say, okay, it's not enough, it's not enough. But you know what the, the problem is? It's five grams of carbs in just one tablespoon. And most people would put 10, 10 or more tablespoons in their coffee without realizing it. So this is not recommended. Replace this with almond milk, cashew milk, unsweetened oat milk. Maybe you want soy milk, it's up to you as long as it's unsweetened. Mix this stuff in your coffee and it's ready. It tastes delicious. And if you wanna top it with a true whip, you can do this. This is the whipped original topping. Uh, here in California, we have a whole awesome one because it's um, actually, we, we see the ones that are organic and natural. So, and also gluten-free and, and soy-free. So it's, there is a lot of different options. And let me know how the coffee, uh, how you like the coffee. Send us a message if you need uh, more information. And don't forget that you can schedule your 15 to 20 minutes coaching call with me. The link will be attached. Coaching call. It's not a training. It's all about coaching, becoming a better in decisions in your life. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for more videos and more recipes coming up next week. Bye.